Okay, here we are for Yankee Candle, Silver Page, and Pine. Well, this is one I started to go for. Um, I didn't pay the thirty-four dollars on this. I had there was a big sale. That this is insane. I usually buy candles on sale. Yankee Candle, Silver Page, and Pine, and um, it's another one for like the Christmas season. Since I pretty much have every single jar they sell in the store, um, I decided there's um maybe three or four, maybe five candles I don't have in signature. This is one of them. Give it a smell. You can smell that um, you can tree stuff and the pine. The pine can be a pain in the ass smell. Like I have that um one from the um what was that spring collection? I forgot what it was called. The desert collection. That pine. that one, the pine got a little more too much. You smell it on the cover, and that's great. You know what's great about these candles? You put these on top of these covers, and um, it's like a holder. But to tell you the truth, it's not really that great. So I wouldn't put it anywhere on where it's um, going to fall over or anything. But at least it gives you the opportunity to um, not put it on something. Like if it's hot or whatever and stuff like that. But um, also we got to look at the year. I don't like when they slap these price tags on it. But the year is 24. You always want to make sure when you buy a candle it's from the same year you're buying it from. There's the candle thing now where it ends. Um, the reason why I say that is, is because sometimes people buy older candles from last year. Like, I got a Christmas candle on Clarence and it was a year old. Not that that makes much of a difference, but whatever. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.